Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwis and this is our 27th video in Qt5 C++ Graphical User Interface Application Development. In the previous video we have learned how you can draw ellipses in Qt5 C++. Uh, in this video I want to show you how you can uh, create uh, different kind of gradients in Qt5 C++. Okay, uh, you can see that I have uh, changed my uh, user interface of Qt5. Uh, if you want to change, you can simply go to the tool, uh, tools, options, and from environment, you can change the dim, and also you can change these colors, like, like me. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new file or project, Qt widget application, and I'm going to call it gradients. Like this, click on next. Uh, I have a gradient, I think. Okay, gradients too. Click on next, next. Uh, next and finish okay now we have our application this is our main window.cpp we have main.cpp also we have main window.h so uh, first of all there are three kinds of gradient in Qt5 we have linear gradient we have a radial gradient and we have conical gradient so for everyone I want to show you example first of all in your header file you need to add the Q printer in here uh, like this and after this open your main window.cpp so in here uh, let me just also you need to uh, declare the paint event in here uh, virtual void uh, paint event Q paint event uh, pointer to event. So now let me uh, define this in main window.cpp. Right click on that and you can add definitions in main window.cpp. So now we have our definition in main window.cpp, and here you need to create uh, uh, the object of Q painter. Uh, Q painter, I call it painter. The parent is this. Now we are going to create the object of uh, a, r a linear gradient, uh, Q linear uh, gradient. I call it linear uh, gradient. And in here, uh, you can give uh, the point for this. So I want it should be hundred and hundred, and also Q point F. 200 and 200 and linear gradient uh, I can tell that it interpolates color between the start and end. this is the uh, start position and this will be the end position so we have two positions and it will uh, interpolate the color between these uh, positions so now I'm going to set linear gradient dot set color at uh, so I want in zero uh, position I want a uh, red color and the linear gradient dot set color at and 0 0.5 position I want QT uh, green like this and linear gradient dot set color at and one position I want it should be yellow okay after this we are going to draw uh, the rectangle so we want to add this uh, linear gradient to a rectangle so Q rect I call it radial rect uh, linear rect linear rect and we can give uh, our rect uh, the X and Y position 50 50 and the width and height 200 and 200 so this is our rectangle and now we are going to fill our rectangle painter dot fill rect and the linear rect so and also linear gradient okay now I'm going to run this this is my complete code and if I run this save all 
uh, you will see that uh, we will have a rectangle uh, with a linear gradient color so now it's going to be built and it will take a few seconds the mm, build build it is a little, a little slow so yeah uh, you can see this is our linear gradient and let me bring it in here so uh, we have red color in uh, the zero position and in the 0 uh, 0.5 uh, we have uh, green between them and after this in the first position uh, we have a, a yellow color so this was our linear gradient that uh, you can use in uh, QD5 C++ okay now after this uh, another gradient uh, we are going to talk that is uh, let me just first of all uh, make bigger my window because like this now the another one is radial gradient and uh, radial gradient interpolates color like a circle so when I when I show you the example uh, you will see so I'm going to create a Q radial gradient I call it radial gradient and we can give this Q pointer F a circle position we can give it uh, 650 uh, oh no sorry uh, I give it 400 150 and 100 so now after creating our uh, radial gradient object now we are going to set color so radial gradient dot set color at in zero I want QT red and radial gradient dot set color at 0 0.5 QT green you can give it gray for example I want to give this gray and radial gradient dot set color at uh, in the F1 QT yellow so now we have uh, created this time to create a rectangle Q rect I call it um, radial rect and we can give it uh, 350 uh, 200 and 200 so the X Y and with an high mm, okay now we want to fill our rect painter dot fill rect and that should be radial rect and the gradient is radial gradient okay now I'm going to run this and you will see I have a radial gradient color now I'm waiting it will build yeah you can see it's a like circle position uh, and it interpolate uh, colors in a circular uh, system so this was our radial gradient okay another one is conical gradient so I'm going to create Q conical gradient let me first um, give a comment in here uh, conical gradient so Q conical gradient and conical gradient so I'm going to give it Q point F the positions and uh, 650 150 and also 90 it's also like a uh, circular 
okay after this uh, now I'm going to uh, set the color conical gradient dot set dot set color at zero uh, QT red and conical gradient dot set color at and 0 0.5 uh, we need to give it green we are uh, like this and add the conical gradient dot set color at uh, first position we need to give it a uh, yellow like this okay now we are going to create our rect q rect and conical rect 550 uh, 50 x and y position uh, 200 and 200 now painter dot fill rect and we give the conical rect and also our conical gradient for the color like this okay now I'm going to run this just I'm waiting for the build yeah uh, you can see that this is uh, a conical gradient radial gradient uh, radial gradient and linear gradient uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and also you can check the QT documentation for more information about these uh, uh, gradients uh, if you have any question please let me know and also I will add the link of uh, this uh, QT documentation to the video description you can watch them subscribe the channel like the videos and also share the videos